So Godot is a bunch of really cool built-in functions like rat to degree and db to linear, you know, all those ones. And you probably at some point in your, in your programming thought, damn, I wish I could have my own globally exposed function like that. Um, and you can, kind of, and maybe actually in my opinion, a little bit better. Watch this. I'm gonna type utils dot is even. And is that a built-in function that I have to recompile the engine for? No, let me show you how I do it. We have this class here, and it's just a file I created. It's just a script, utils.gd. And we extend reference. We give it this class name. And then we create our functions here, and we give them the static keyword. And that means that we can access them all over the code just by saying utils is even. And why do I think that's better? Well, because it's namespaced. It means that if you import someone else's code, you're not going to have some sort of clash in the global scope. And let's just add another one to show you how it works. So static func. Let's say this function is going to be called inverse, and it's going to take a number. It's going to return a float, and we're going to return 1.0 minus the number we save. Go back to, hey, even better. You go back to a random script, and now we can say utils.inverse, and whatever, give it some number. So that's static functions. They're really, really useful. If you haven't seen that before, your mind is probably racing and all the things you can do with that. One caveat I wanna show you is that when you have a static function, it cannot access any of the variables of its scripts. Let's say I have a variable here called um, Sam and it's equal to zero. Now, if here I try to access that, um, immediately we get cannot access member variable Sam from a static function, but we can access a const variable. So just keep that in mind. So that's static functions. These are really, really useful for just grouping together a bunch of random crap you don't know where to put.